now let us go into detail of the various inputs required and which panels or which settings do we change in order to give these inputs. Now, the first step to set up a multiphase model is to turn on the multiphase model in Fluent. That is, we go to problem setup, go to model, and turn the multiphase model on. As we go here, this particular option appears under models, and we click here on multiphase flow model and turn it on. As you can see, right now it is off. Once we do that, the next is to go into the multiphase panel tab. That is, whenever you click here, this particular tab appears. This particular panel appears. Within this panel, there are various options like model, number of phases, the multiphase flow model parameters, the volume fraction parameters, etc. These settings are specific to models. That is, if you select VOF in place of Eulerian, as shown in the figure, these parameters will change and you will see various other parameters appearing here depending upon which model we use. So we select the model here, that is we can either select volume of fluid mixture, Eulerian or wet steam or we can totally turn off the model. After that we input how many phases exist in our problem here. Then we change the model specific parameters here. After that we change the schemes for volume fraction here. Next step is to define phases. So after we turn on the multiphase models, we go into the multiphase model panel. This is how the multiphase model panel looks like in commercial software Fluent. Now the first thing that we should do is set the number of phases involved. That is, in our problem, how many number of distinct phases are we going to model? We can edit this number here. Then we select which multiphase model are we going to use. Here are the options that are available that is the volume of fluid or the mixture Eulerian or wet steam. We are showing the Eulerian model in this particular slide. Below the model section there is a region called as model parameters. Within this various sub models available within the main multiphase model can be selected. As shown here the Eulerian parameters are shown. Within the Eulerian, we have either the dis dense discrete phase model, the boiling model, or the immiscible fluid model. If we select some other model like VOF, these parameters will change accordingly. These are specific to which model we are going to use. Below that is a region called volume fraction parameters. Here we select the scheme which is going to be used for volume fraction calculations. That is either the explicit scheme or the implicit scheme. So this is how the multiphase model panel looks like and we select the basic parameters available here as well as the number of phases. The next thing to do is define the phases involved in our modeling. This is available under problem setup and phases. We click on this phases option and then the phases section comes up. Here we set individual phases, their names and their properties. The first phase is the primary phase and whatever remaining phases below that are the secondary phases. We can also select interaction between different phases by clicking on the interaction and setting whatever interaction we want. We will see the interaction panel later. We can also model species transport or reactions along with multiphase. For that, we have to go into problem setup, models and then turn on the species model. As shown here, the species model panel opens up and we have to click on species transport. Within the species transport there is a section called phase properties. Now let's say that there are reactions between different phases. For that we have to change these phase properties for those reactions and species transport. So we select on this set and we edit the different phases involved by clicking on this set button.